a contour map, a three-dimensional contour map of our farms. So I have a little sample here that I made just with some index cards to make it very simple to, to explain. So I'm looking right now at the directions that are on your farm map and I'm following along and I'm going to be doing each of those steps so you can see how it works in a very simplified way. So the first thing is to create a color code system for the elevation layers. So you can see here I picked some colors and I colored them on the, the lowest elevation page, just like it says. Okay. And then the next thing it says, step number two, is label each of your pages one of the elevations by coloring only that box on the next page. So on the next page, okay, see I have an elevation. This would be less than five, and then this would be five and 10 and 15, so that you know that one would have to be zero. But I didn't mark anything there because I just have a very simple map, map here. So this is my zero page. This is my five page. You can see I kind of already got started making sure I was going to explain this correctly. And so I need to color the five page with its answer, with its little key right there, okay? And then the same thing here with the 10 page. And that's green. And then the last one is the 15 page. So I'm going to color that pink. Okay, so now I've got each one assigned to its proper elevation. So I'm coloring the land that is marked at that elevation. So you can see this would be a little mountain peak, right? So now you can also see that I'm coloring. That's, that's what I'm doing for step three. I'm coloring the land that's immediately above that line, right? So the five line, if you look at it on the first page, just because that is nothing colored here, right? The five line would need to have this colored here in between the five and the 10. And that's what that means. Color the land that is immediately above that elevation. So on my five page, I color all the land that's immediately above the five line, okay? And I color that orange. And then in the, in the green, the 10 page, I color all the land that's immediately above the 10 line, but I didn't color the 15 spot because that's too high. And then the same thing here, I colored all the land that's immediately above the 15 line. Now, the next thing that you're going to do is you're going to start to glue this down. And I'm not going to show you the gluing part because I think you can figure out how to put glue on the back of this and glue it down, okay, to the base, the piece of cardstock that we're going to give you to start off with, okay? So you're going to glue the lowest page down to your cardstock, and then this one I'm going to call the base layer just because it's the lowest one. Okay, so in my example here, this is the zero page, right, because it's the lowest. And then, so each remaining page, we're going to cut off the elevations that are lower than the elevation that we have. So see here, this is the five page, so I'm cutting off all the land that's less than five. And this part here, I'm actually not going to need. I'm going to throw it away, okay? Then I'm going to glue this down right here on top of its spot on the map. So you're going to have to be careful not to lose little pieces of your map. You might want to have the glue going right as you're going along doing this. Cut it out and glue it down right away so you don't lose it. Then the next thing is I'm going to do the next one. So now I have the 10 page, and so I'm going to cut off all the elevations that are less than 10. And on your map, you're going to have to be careful not to lose any because there could be areas of your map where you have, you know, more than one different spot that's marked as 10. On my simple map here, I only have one 10 area. You might have more than one 10 area. And then I'm going to glue it down just like that. And then I'm going to do the next one. I'm going to cut off all the areas of the map that are lower than 15. So this is the 15 page. And then I'm going to glue this one down to there. And so you can see here how I'm building a map that has the same actual three-dimensional structure as this original little mountain would have had, okay? And so you can see this is, I don't know, can we see this here? 
and you see that this is a very, very small incline. This is a very, very low hill. This is not a mountain. You might have thought it was going to be a mountain, but this is not a mountain. It only changes in height by, well, it goes from the zero to the 15, which is, you know, how high is 15? Well, if, if you have three people stacked on top of each other who are five feet tall, that's how tall that would be. This is a very small hill, um, especially as I have it in my example here.